Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. Have you ever been walking through a beautiful forest like this and came across a circle of wild mushrooms growing in the woods? This is commonly known as a fairy ring. But what causes a fairy ring? Is it actually fairies? Or maybe science has a better explanation. We're gonna find out all about that here on this episode. So make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and follow me into Mushroom Wonderland. Mushroom Wonderland. The idea of fairies and elves excites a part of us that wants to believe in the magic of enchanted forests and magical places. And the mushroom seems to be a perfect landmark of that realm. When they form a perfect circle in the forest, it is what we affectionately call a fairy ring. It truly has a way of captivating the imagination. Let's first understand what a fairy ring is. It is a circular formation of fungi fruiting bodies, which occur naturally, usually in grassy meadows, fields, and also in woodlands. The fairy ring is comprised of individual fruiting bodies growing in a way that is undeniably in a circle, or sometimes a half circle or an oblong shape. Approximately 100 species of fungi are known to form fairy rings. Some of the most striking are Amanita muscaria, the Chlorophyllum molybdides, and very commonly Marasmius orates, also known as the fairy ring mushroom. Of all the species that form fairy rings, some are poisonous and others are decent edibles. You have to identify each different species to determine edibility. Fairy rings are often depicted as hazardous or dangerous places in the enchanted realm and are often linked with sinister forest creatures witches, or the devil. Adversely, some stories say that they can be linked with good fortune and prosperity. Different countries across Old World Europe have many tales about fairy rings. In his History of the Goths in 1628, Swedish writer Aulus Magnus makes this connection, saying that fairy rings are burned into the ground by the dancing of elves. Adaptations of the same story have been told in English and Celtic folklore about fairy rings that were caused by fairies dancing in a circle in the middle of the night. European superstitions routinely warn against entering a fairy ring. It was said that if you happened upon fairies dancing in the forest at night, that you would be lured into their dance and forced to dance until you died, or at least until exhaustion or collapse. It was said that if you did escape the dance of the fairy ring, the time will have passed so that all of your loved ones will have long since perished while you remain the same age. It was also said that a close friend would be the only one who might possibly pull you out of the dance, that is, as long as they didn't get lured into it themselves. A famous British folklorist called Thomas Kitely believed them the fault of elves, and he warned that while entering a fairy ring might allow the person to see elves, it would also likely put the person under a spell. Dutch superstition took an even darker turn and claimed that the toadstool circles showed where the devil set his milk churn. In France, they are known as witches' circles and that they're guarded by giant bug-eyed toads that curse those who violated the circles. In German folklore, they were known as witches' rings. It was believed that they were the place where witches would dance on Walpurgis night, an ancient witches' celebration that takes place exactly six months from Halloween. In Tyrol, Austria, dragons were said to be responsible for fairy rings. It was said that they burned them into the forest floor with their fiery tails. Once a dragon had created the circle, nothing but poisonous toadstools would grow there for seven years. This is at least partly false because some of these mushrooms are quite good edibles. Some cultures believe that they are portals into another world, while others would say that the mushrooms are simply used as dinner tables for fairies. One of the biggest fairy rings ever found that still exists today is in northeastern France from a mushroom commonly known as the Trooping Funnel. It's about 980 feet in diameter and over 700 years old. In southern England, 
Colossibe gambosa has formed huge fairy rings that also appear to be several hundred years old. Science can now help explain the occurrence of fairy rings, and the study of fungi, known as mycology, has some more simple explanations. The fairy ring is caused by a fungus that grows underground. At certain times of the year, when conditions are just right, the fungus will produce fruiting bodies in an attempt to spread its spores. The visible mushrooms are nothing more than uniquely oriented clusters of the strands of hyphae, which have a fertile surface and produce the spores of the fungus. The actual body of the fungus itself exists underground, hidden from human sight and growing outward from a central point. The energy and new growth of the mycelium is focused on the outer edge of the subterranean fungal mass. This is where it will produce fruiting bodies, which after time start to resemble a circle. As nutrients are depleted, the mycelium grows outward in a circular fashion. Lacking adequate nutrients, the center portion dies, and a living ring is formed, making the perimeter of the mycelial growth darker green, and the inside of the circle can look dead. A ring can grow for several years depending on the availability of soil nutrients and weather conditions. This process can go on for years and if fertilized by rabbits or other grassland animals giving nitrogen to the soil, smaller rings can grow within the larger ones and create geometric shapes in fields. It is likely that one of the main things that draws people's attention to the unique life form of mushrooms is their attachment to the magical realm. And stories like these have captivated our minds for eons. So thanks for joining this episode of Mushroom Wonderland. Much love to you all.